Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install the current IntelliJ IDEA version on Windows 10. For IntelliJ, we need Java, so we will be also installing the current Java version that is Java 18. So guys, at first we will download and install the current Java version, then we will download and install IntelliJ IDEA. After that, we will also run a sample Java program on IntelliJ IDEA. So let's begin. The first step is downloading and installing Java 18, the current Java version. Let's start. At first, go to the browser. I am using Chrome, you can use any browser. On Google type Oracle Java. Press enter. On pressing enter, you can see the official website is visible, oracle.com. Click on it to open. On opening, on the right itself, on the official website, you can see download Java. Click on it. After clicking here, you can see Java 18 is available now. So this is what we want for Windows. I will go below. Here it is Java 18. Now Linux, Mac and Windows for all three platforms, the Java 18 version is visible. We want for Windows, I'll click here. On clicking, now you can see the, now you can see three files are visible to download. We will go for the installer, x64, that means for 64-bit Windows 10. Click on this file to download. On clicking the download will start, here and you can see 153 MB only. Let's wait for a few seconds. So herein guys you can see we have successfully downloaded the Java 18, the JDK 18 exe file. Remember that for Java we only need JDK now. We don't need to install JRE separately because this installation includes JRE also. So I'll just double click on it to install. Minimize this. Guys the installation started now let us click on next. After clicking next, herein you can see it will create a Java directory in program files and the installation will go inside it. The installation files will go inside it. You can change the location from here but the default is fine. Click on next. The installation started now. So guys, we have successfully installed it. Click on close. Now let us see wherein we have installed Java. Remember it was in C drive program files. Here is Java. Inside JDK 18, I told you it will get installed here. Now here in go to bin. Right click and copy this path. Now minimize. Go to start. Type environment variables. Here and click on edit the system environment variables. The first one click on open. Click on environment variables from here. Here in under system variables. The path is visible. We will set the path now. Double click on it. Click on new and just just right click and paste the same path. So we pasted the following path. Now guys click on ok. Now here in I will also create another path that is new. That is click on new. This will be java underscore home path. Here and paste the same variable value that is the path but remove the bin here. That's it. Click on OK. We have set two paths. Click on OK and click on the last OK. That's it. We have successfully installed java. Let us verify. Go to start. Type cmd. Click on open to open the command prompt. We have started it. Type the command java space hyphen hyphen version and press enter. On pressing enter you can see java 18 is visible that means we have successfully installed it. Now guys close this. Now we will move towards the second step that is download and install the IntelliJ IDEA. For that go to the browser. I am using chrome you can use any browser. Here in type IntelliJ IDEA. Press enter. On pressing enter the official website is visible. Here it is. JetBrains.com. Click on it. After clicking, directly click on download. Now IntelliJ IDEA versions are visible. The first one ultimate is a paid one and community is open source that is free. So we will go for the community version. It automatically selected the Windows version for us. Click on download to download the exe file for open source community IntelliJ IDEA version. Now the download started. You can see 562 MB. Let's wait for a few minutes. 
सो गाइज वी हैव सक्सेसफुली डाउनलोडेड द इंटेलिजे आइडिया एक सी फाइल डबल क्लिक ऑन इट टू इंस्टॉल मिनिमाइज दिस द सेटअप स्टार्टेड क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट नाउ यू कैन सी द इंस्टॉलेशन लोकेशन द इंटेलिजे आइडिया फाइल्स विल गेट स्टोर्ड अंडर प्रोग्राम फाइल्स जेट बेंस डायरेक्टरी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द लोकेशन क्लिक ऑन ब्राउज बट द डिफॉल्ट इज फाइन द स्पेस रिक्वायर्ड इज टू पॉइंट वन जी बी क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट हेर एंड यू कैन सी द इंस्टॉलेशन ऑप्शन आर विजिबल यू कैन सेट द डेस्क ऑफ शॉर्टकट यू कैन ऑल्सो सेट एड बिन फोल्डर टू द पाथ एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो सेट एड ओपन फोल्डर एज प्रोजेक्ट डायरेक्टली क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट क्लिक ऑन इंस्टॉल इट विल ऑल्सो क्रिएट अ स्टार्ट मेन्यू फोल्डर नाउ द इंस्टॉलेशन स्टार्टेड वेट फॉर फ्यू सेकेंड्स Here and you can see, guys, we installed it. The desktop shortcut also got created. You can reboot now. Click on Finish. It will reboot. So, guys, we rebooted our system. Now, I'll directly click on the desktop shortcut, or I can go to Start and type IntelliJ. And here is the version we installed. Click on Open. Let us click on here desktop shortcut. Here and you can see import IntelliJ IDEA settings. We do not import. We do not want to import the settings. Click on OK. So IntelliJ IDEA started. I'll directly click on New Project. So here and you can see it directly took that we installed Java 18. If you want to add a new JDK, you can click here and click on Add JDK. But I'll keep the same. Click on Next. Click on Next. And here, in add the name of the project. Let's say the name is Amit Project. It will get saved in the following location. It will be in the C Users. C Users Amit underscore. This is the username. And here in we will check it later click on finish here it is guys it is scanning files to index updating the indexes so wait so guys it created amit project now let us add a new class right click on source click on new and directly click on java class Here and add the name of the class. Let's say the name is demo. I'll press enter and it will automatically create a class. Here it is demo dot Java. Now let us quickly write a code. So here it is, guys. We printed our code. Okay, you can go to file now and click on save all. Let us understand the code before printing. So here in we have this access modifier public class is the keyword which is allowing us to define a class demo you can see the name of the class is equivalent to the file name demo okay now we have public static void main public is an access specifier static allows the main function this main function to be called without the need to instantiate a particular instance okay void is a return type main is a function that gets called whenever any java application begins So here in we have string arguments, which is basically a string array to receive any command line arguments. Okay, now we have system dot out dot print a line to print a line. We are printing two lines. System is basically a predefined class. Out is an output stream, and print a line is used to display the string. Okay, we have all we could have also used print here, but that would have created issues in the next line. In that case, the second line would have gone here only after printing. let us see i'll type ln only and i'll and i'll click on file and save all now let us run it click on run directly click on run here click on demo now here you can see we successfully printed two lines okay now let me remove the ln from here Now what will happen? This second line, study, repeat, and never stop learning will come here. 
now let me run it again run run demo now here you can see i told you we removed ln that's why it came on the first line only i'll again add ln and i'll click on file save all that's it click on run again and run demo now it won't happen it will look exactly like this here it is so guys in this video we saw how we can easily download and install the current intellij idea version with that we also installed java and also saw how to run your first java project on intellij idea so guys thank you for watching the video if you liked it do subscribe to our channel amit things